It was the big 80s, a time of great expectations and new ideas, and San Jacinto College reflected the excitement of the many transitions that took place during this decade. At the beginning of the 80s, Texas experienced the savings and loan crisis, then forged ahead in the face of a big oil bust. But soon, Reaganomics and supply-side economics became a household phrase. We saw the Soviet Union, once called the evil empire, embrace glasnost and a new openness. New scientific breakthroughs seem to happen every week, like the use of DNA evidence in courts and the discovery of the HIV virus. There were tragedies like the famine in Ethiopia and the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. But we also witnessed the exuberant destruction of the Berlin Wall. All this action unfolded to a fresh, totally awesome soundtrack of new wave synthesizers, rap, and hip hop. As the decade began, the Central Campus expanded its innovative weekend college program by offering Saturday and Sunday classes in nine new areas of study. One year later, the college experienced enrollment surpassing 16,000 for the first time in its 20-year history. Sanjak began receiving national recognition for its academic excellence with the Central Campus's speech and debate team winning a national debate championship. Chancellor Dr. Thomas Spencer earned the Marie Martin Administrator's Award, designating him as the top two-year college administrator in the nation. The college's baseball team became a national powerhouse during the decade. In 1985, the team brought home the college's first ever World Series title. Head coach Wayne Graham was named the Coach of the Year by the National Junior College Athletic Association for the NJCAA. The baseball team proved why it remains the nation's winningest baseball program. It won five JUCO World Series titles in the late 80s. The men's basketball team also dominated on the national stage with its 1983 win at nationals. The team went on to repeat its success, winning the national title twice more in the decade. In 1987, the women's track team won a national championship and the volleyball team brought home its first national title. That same year, for the first time, the junior college division was included in the National Volleyball Player of the Year Awards. Sonia Trevino of San Jacinto College Central was the first recipient of the Player of the Year Awards in a unanimous decision. Trevino was also a member of San Jack's National Championship track and field team. As head coach of San Jack's volleyball program, I was deeply honored when the NJCAA named me Coach of the Year. The 1980s brought the college many academic accolades, including the Central Campus's launch of the Associate Degree Nursing Program, an innovative televised nursing course, and a computer lab equipped with more than 100 new IBM personal computers. In 1985, all three campuses began offering telecourses, which were college courses on the Channel 8 public television station and the Texian, the college student newspaper, earned the All-American rating from the Associated College Press, the highest award in the nation. Sanjak's 25th anniversary rolled around during this decade as well, celebrated with an array of silver anniversary events at each campus and a gala banquet for current and former students, faculty, and staff members. The college also had another milestone to celebrate. Over a six-year period, the South Campus gained more students than any other two-year college in Texas, with enrollment of 4,049 students in 1985. The end of the decade brought the college's first ever articulation agreement with the University of Houston, making it easier for students to transfer between college and university. Campus growth continued with the opening of the Wheeler Occupational and Technical Building at the North Campus and the J.D. Bruce Student Center at the South Campus. With the passing of the college's formative years and more than 25 years since its establishment, San Jacinto College set a precedent in the 1980s with increased enrollment, academic and athletic excellence, and the expansion of services and facilities. <laughs>